when you're using different tools working on your diagrams I'd like to remind you to save your work often just click the save option uh, and also when you're ready to submit this diagram I would uh, uh, highly uh, recommend that you include the description of your diagram and your name in that description so I can easily identify that this is your work and also uh, very important that when you submit uh, for instance using violet uh, I'm asking you to export to an image file uh, you can you can export it to an image file and this will be easier for me to open but I think if you if you save uh, using the save option of violet it saves it in the uh, uh, HTML format uh, using HTML vector graphics so this is also acceptable I, I think I will be able to open this diagram this is so far um, the diagram that I saved uh, on my uh, hard drive so we still have um, a list of objects and I think now it's time to demonstrate an object diagram so we can uh, go now to say new uh, and this will be another static uh, view that uh, we will try in the system and this will be an uh, object diagram so object diagrams um, have uh, very simple options here for instance you can have an object that looks like a box right so we can have boxes boxes like this and uh, let me resize this so we can <clears throat> populate these boxes so I have um, about 10 that I need so I have um, five and five more so I just randomly uh, drop them on this screen and, and now I can switch to the selection and specify the names airline reservation and a ticket sale the agent uh, we should probably also add customer to this list as well I would think that just like we have a ticketing agent we can have a business object representing a customer not to be confused with an actor uh, uh, this is a business object somewhere in memory that stores properties of our customer and uh, uh, this is an actor so two different things uh, object and actor but I will try to put this on the list And I need one more box for the schedule itself. All right, so another object that we'll have somewhere. Schedule. Okay. At this stage, I also highly recommend just to go save as and uh, name uh, your diagram. Uh, so in this case this will be airline reservation um, objects objects so let's just save it like this and uh, you see now I have two of these uh, files in the same uh, <coughs> location I'll switch to full view now and uh, try using try using a slightly uh, zoomed format right here so do, where do we start let's uh, identify the fact that we have a schedule okay and the schedule is made up of flights so we can add the uh, object reference and identify that here well it needs to give me um, it, it it requires uh, to 
uh, to add a field in order to uh, create this type of um, object reference well it's a bit advanced advanced for me i'll just use association between objects for now just something very simple just like this so schedule has flights and the flight specifies an aircraft right so this would be i think appropriate uh, type of association schedule has flight flight has an aircraft now we also have a reservation and reservation could belong to two of these lists confirm reservation and uh, waiting list reservation so again i'll just switch to a, an association like this and uh, this should indi indicate that uh, confirmed reservation list is a list of object references to reservations and likewise the waiting reservation list also has has a collection of reservations uh, over there a reservation can have a payment so payment is also associated with uh, the reservation right so uh, both uh, both of these uh, should probably have um, information and uh, the ticket sale which may be a record in a database or uh, when the, when you consider the attributes uh, the uh, of the the attributes um, of the of the sale it's very likely that uh, this sale has uh, a specific reservation reference and could also have a uh, reference to the payment um, it doesn't have to have it because now ticket sale can find through the reservation the actual payment information or it could also have direct association okay so the sale will definitely include information about the customer and information about the agent okay so we have the sale which encapsulates all of this information uh, so in my view this would be a, a right thing to do and also uh we could associate a flight with a specific airline at least to my knowledge this is how they do it in the real world so we can have another association right here and then the reservation is very likely to also reference a flight okay so these are possible arrangements uh, again this is nothing precise this is not har uh, set in stone this is not something that is fully affirmed but uh, at least it i think it makes sense in terms of you know the realistic possibilities here uh, i wouldn't hesitate to to arrange it as much as possible to like you know to maintain right angles and make it as readable as possible from all all of these angles like this and once again it would be extremely desirable to include a note indicating what is it, what is it that we're trying to uh, display here so this is um, once again an airline reservation system object diagram and you can place a ver verse say it's version 1.0 uh, for instance and uh, your name right here would be desirable right so just make sure that you include your names in these diagrams that's that's a good idea okay so now <clears throat> with uh, all of this in place i'm just going to say click file and uh, save i already saved it once so i can just save it so you get an idea of what the object diagram looks like and the object diagrams are also very user friendly because you can essentially talk about the concepts such as reservations and payments and ticket sales and take an expert user through the structure and ask them questions do you do you agree with this kind of assumption is this correct that the reservation knows about a specific flight and so forth so it's uh, it, this is uh, 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 user friendly uh, very uh, open discussion style diagram so this is uh, 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 definitely something to keep in mind when you're doing your use case analysis because remember we started with our business requirements handout 
Um, and uh, then as a result of this analysis, so far, I, um, I was able to go over, uh, go over the list of use cases, actors and objects. And of course, I could populate uh, quite a few of the data attributes that were mentioned here. Uh, like, for instance, this percentage of airline capacity would have to be stored somewhere. And at some point, I would have to decide what object this information belongs to. And as you go, uh, like it's an iterative process, so you go multiple times and uh, you can then make adjustments to whatever parts you are identifying and definitely the next step would be to make a decision about what data attributes um, there are plenty of them in this description and uh, of course also keep an eye on what has to be stored in the database so plus this plus of course are using i was using violet uh, editor to create these two diagrams use case diagrams and airline uh, reservation system object diagram 